Hi, for this video what I wanted to do is show you how to solve a half-life problem um, when you're trying to find the amount of time to reach a certain um, decay. So iodine-131 has a half-life of 8.05 days. How much time is required for 93% of the isotope to decay? So um, for this one, what we are looking for is the time that it takes to get to a certain percentage. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to use our formula A of T where the amount is a function of time is equal to the initial time times E to the KT where K is the rate of decay and T is the time in this case it would be the time in days. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is fill in the information that we have. So we're going to start with this part right here. The iodine-131 has a half-life of 8.05 days. So what that means is that we want our ending amount to be half of our starting amount. It doesn't matter what we started with. Um, whether this is 30 grams or 20 grams, it doesn't matter. We want it to be half of that amount. So what happens is the a sub zero ends up canceling out. And so we have one half equals e, and we don't know our k. That's what we're solving for. But we do know that our time is 8.05 days. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to take the logarithm of both sides, since I can't rewrite this to be the same base. So I would take natural log of one half and set it equal to the natural log of E to the 8.05K. And what happens here is this exponent can be written out in front using our rules of logarithms. And so we have natural log 1 half equals 8.05K. And remember that natural log E is just 1 because E to the first power equals E. So this essentially just cancels out. So now what we would do to find K is we would divide both sides by 8.05. And I'm going to plug it into my calculator so that we can get a pro an approximate answer. Um, but when you are solving for the next part, because this is a two-part process, you do want to make sure that you leave it as an exact value um, so that when you plug it back in, you don't get the wrong approximation. So what we would do is we would find our natural log of 1 half. Make sure you close your parentheses um, or else it will give you the wrong answer. Divided by 8.05. And that gives us approximately negative 0 0.086105. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Um, I'm just going to round it to four decimal places because I know that when I do my next solving um, that I will use the exact answer and I will not use the approximation. So if you're solving further in the problem, it is very important that you don't round. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the equation A of T equals a sub 0 e to the negative 0 0.0861 times our time. Okay, now we're going to go back to the second part of the problem that we didn't address yet. Okay, the second part of the problem is it's asking for how much time, so this time we're going to solve for t, is required for 93% to decay. So if you think about it, 93% is going to be gone, which means that we only have 7% left. So what we're looking for is 7% of our ending amount to be left. And again, with this, what's going to happen is the a sub zeros on both sides are going to cancel out. It doesn't matter how much you started with. Um, you would just cancel those out. So a sub 0 cancels out on both sides. So the 7% came from doing 1 minus 0.93, which is 0 0.07, because 93% as a decimal is 0 0.93. And we started with 100% of it, and we want 93% of it to decay. So now what we would do is we would set this up again using natural logarithms. And the reason I'm using a natural logarithm is because I have base E. And natural log, remember, is base E. And so these end up canceling each other out. 
So basically this becomes very similar to what we just did on the last problem since our variable is in the exponent. So again, this part goes in front and the natural log E cancels out. So we're left with natural log 0 0.07 equals negative 0.0861T. And then what we would do is just divide both sides by the negative 0 0.0861. And again, what I'm going to do in my calculator is instead of putting in the rounded amount, I am going to use the answer that I last used. So I'm going to type in natural log 0 0.07, close the parentheses, and then I'm going to do divided by second answer, which will give me the most exact um, approximation that I can get. And so we end up with 30.88 days approximately. And then now, depending upon how you want your answer, like if that's okay, you can leave it as 30.88 days, or you could convert it to the number of hours, so we know that this is 30 days. And since there are 24 hours in a day, what we could do is we could take um, the 0.88, and again, I'm doing an approximation times 24 hours, and so that would give us 21 hours. And then if you wanted to know how many minutes, because there are 60 minutes in an hour, we could do the 0.12 times 60. And so we could get it approximately 7.2 minutes. So depending upon how you need your answer, you might need to be a little more exact than just leaving it as 30.88 days. So it would take approximately 30 days, 21 hours, and 7.2 minutes. Um, to get down to 93% of the isotope to decay or being left with 7% of the initial value. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.